I get it. I get I get the appeal. They're pretty. Yeah. Um, they're good dancers. Yeah. And then one video left after another, after <laughs> another, after another. And I was like, yeah, they're really pretty. <laughs> From Sand Studios and made possible by Wavecast Equipment, I'm Trey Ramulia and welcome to the White Stripe Podcast. I want to get into like your content now because I think it's okay. really interesting how... <laughs> You mentioned that you used to be like this metalhead uh, yep. kind of guy. And then now here you are. If you go on to your Instagram, you will see K-pop. You will see everything yep. under like the pop sun. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I find it really interesting. How did you like go there? Man, okay. So, yeah. I honestly, like if this was, if you asked me. J- even last year, like January, like, well, wait, it's not January, it's March now. March. Goodness. March last year, like uh, 2020. Do you like K pop, Justin? I would say no. Yeah. <laughs> like, straight up, like, no. It's like, would you give it a try? No. Like, I was super like, okay, K pop, okay, I get it. I get the appeal for other people, for other people. Yeah. That's just, I'm just, that, I'm just not the target market. Yeah, exactly. So I've always been kind of like against it Mm. honestly like more like like "Mm, that's for other people i really don't get it that kind of thing yeah almost having like a negative outlook on it but quarantine happened you know and you have a lot of free time yeah and it was one ad one ad on youtube (laughs) for the black pink netflix document okay yes yeah yeah the black the black pink netflix documentary came out like, just like, oh, I forgot what I was watching. I was probably watching some other music thing. I don't know how the YouTube algorithm thing yeah, works. Yeah. But basically, they thought that I'd be interested that Blackpink had a Netflix documentary coming out. And I knew some other of my friends were, like, talking about it. And so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll, like, look. I, I'll give it a yeah. shot. Like, yeah, yeah. I've never really actually tried, you know? Yeah. So I watched one video, and I was like, okay like they're good dancers i think the first one i saw was like the how you like that like choreography okay it's like okay i get it i get i get the appeal they're pretty yeah Um, they're good dancers yeah and then one video left after another (laughs) after another after another and i was like yeah they're really pretty (laughs) and then and then um i yeah i started listening to the songs like okay like it's catchy it's pop Mm. it's well produced the Production quality is amazing. Yeah. No complaints about that. And then I watched the, Net- the Netflix documentary. And then that was it. That was it for me. Like, I, I totally, <laughs> like, I, I was sold. <laughs> I, I get <laughs> Basically. that. I had a similar experience. So when... Okay. So, so you, you listen to K-pop. Are now you, uh, I do. Now, now you I do. do. Okay. Was it during the quarantine? Yeah. Was, I... <laughs> So like, many people, so like, many people. So at, at first, like Korean media, it first started out with K dramas, like during right. the early quarantine. And I was like, yeah, I'll watch mm-hmm. a few. I ended up loving it. Started watching more. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, okay, like I'm into Korean, you know, TV now. Culture, culture. Yeah, yeah. Know. I was like, it's really interesting. I want to go there right. and all that stuff. But like when people mentioned like K-pop and all that stuff, like even like BTS, I was like, yeah, like no, not, like, I mean, like not my thing. <laughs> yeah, like, not my thing. Not like it's very like um, commercial pop, and you know, yeah. like, like all these thoughts in my head. Yeah. And then exactly the same thing. My friends were telling me like, oh yo, bro, watch the what's the Blackpink documentary? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, uh, you know, I kind of don't want to, but like, yeah. um. I'll look into it, you know. So I checked out the the trailer on Netflix, right? Mm-hmm. And then, like, the first line was, like, the black pink, bam! And, uh, and then, like, yeah. they're telling like, the whole story of, like, mm-hmm. Coachella and whatever. I was like, oh, this is good. Like, I'm going to watch yeah. it. And then after I watched, because I watched this, like, I wasn't even in Manila. Like, I was out of town that time. So, mm-hmm. like, I was watching it, like, on my phone. Mm-hmm. And, like, at, like, 2 a.m. Because I was just like, oh, I haven't, I haven't, I realized I haven't watched it yet. So I'll watch it. So I ended up watching it. And then in the end of the, the movie, or, like, the, the docu, I was like, why do I care about them so much now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, they're so, I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, I totally get it. I, I felt the same way. It's yeah, like, right? wow, aw. Like, when, when that scene, like, when they're eating together, yeah, they're the laughing. End, I was just right? like, aw. 
Yeah. I was like, I hope they find more success. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like you're rooting for them. You end up yeah. rooting for them. It's crazy how I just like went through that whole journey. And now I'm like, yeah. For sure. They're... For sure. And then I remember because like, I, I can't say that I love all their songs. Okay. But like, but like, there are a few that really stand out. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's what's your what's your favorite? What's the one song? You know that, what, like, what's I, the song that got you? I guess. Oh, the song that got me was "Do Do Do Live." Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, the Coachella the, version. The live the live version yeah. is so fun. Yeah. And when I I remember watching, I listening to it, and I was just like, I love this. This is so good. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I would imagine I like the the dance and everything, and I'm like, mm-hmm. they're so good. And they're so after good. that, I got hooked. Yeah. Dude, like, ah, oh, so many, so many people I know got into K-pop during the quarantine. Yeah. And, like, I was trying to break it down, right? Because, like, <laughs> honestly, okay, so all the reasons I didn't want to do it, right? Like, I didn't want to get into K-pop or anything was, like, it's, like, so th- this was my, this was my, mis- like, my k- uh, perception yeah. of the K-pop industry. It's, like, okay, they're just dolls that are, you know, like, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they find these attractive kids that with talent and then they write songs for them and they perform and they're basically yeah, yeah. selling them, you know, their, yeah, their yeah, products yeah. being sold, whatever. So I had these, oh, they're not real. They're not real artists or whatever. <laughs> they're not the ones creating. Like, yeah, yeah. I no, could I, never I that back also. that up. I could yeah, never I back that. that up. I'd rather support someone that, you know, like pours out their heart into yeah. it. Right. So that was my, that yeah, was yeah, my yeah. whole thing. And then you watch the black pig documentary. And <laughs> like, Oh my gosh. They pour their heart out into, <laughs> into like the training. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, some some of them don't even make it. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? like, exactly. they spend like five years and like they don't even make it. Like they don't even get to debut. Like <laughs> and I was like, oh, like and I had like I had the exact same thought, dude. Right? Like I was like, it's so funny. And now I'm a consumer. Like now I I eat it up. Like I buy the products, and it's because they're excellent at marketing. Yeah, like the whole it's it's the marketing. Honestly, it is. It really without is. the marketing, the way that they, the the whole package, if one part of the whole package is not there, I don't think it would. It is everything successful. put together. It's everything. It's the choreography, the dance, but more importantly, it's the content that they put out. Yeah. Like that, they constantly have something. You know oh, what I mean? Like sure. on YouTube, Always. they have so many things. Yeah, they have because it, it. I thought about it, right? Like. The other, like, why do I feel this strongly towards these people that I don't even understand what they're saying? Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. But like, someone like, because I'm a huge Ariana Grande fan. Mm. Like, I love Ariana Grande's songs. Yeah, but I'm not so sold out on her. Oh, you know what okay, I mean? understandable, understandable. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I love her songs. I love, uh, yeah, I, I love her songs. That, that, that's all I can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love her songs and. I watched a documentary. I loved it as well. But like, I watched a documentary and I was just like, yeah, I love her songs. Uh, (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like her as a, ah, this sounds so wrong, but like her as a product isn't like everything. Like, she doesn't have the whole package for me. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, yeah. When it comes to like, like the K-pop group, they they have the songs, but then they also do like the reality show thing. So yeah, you see their personalities. Um, they do like those V live things and stuff. Yeah. So you, you uh, like, it's so smart. It's so smart. And then they have like the, the stickers and the, the trading cards that they yeah. do. You know what I mean? So like yeah. they have so much content for people to consume that um, it's more than just like, Oh, they're just singers or like, or they're just right. a music group. There's people that you can follow. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. Like you can really track like um, them. So like I, for me, that was the that that's really what causes me like personally to be super invested is yeah. that they have just so they just oh, for have sure. so much content, for so sure. much content to consume. Um, yeah. And like they, they do it like they have like um, eras too. you know what I mean? Like they oh, have yeah. like <laughs> this era. Yeah, so they're so smart. Like it's they not are. just like they really are. It's not like they're just like one big uh like they the and I know it's not just the girls, you know what I mean? It's not the oh the, there's like yeah, a yeah, huge yeah. There's marketing a huge, team that's so yeah. So I get why they're so successful and why I, I actually consume it. But it's again, it's so funny because it's the the reasons that I really didn't want to like them. <laughs> yeah. 
are the reasons it's basically the reasons why i i do like them now it's because, it's because of they're the marketed so well it's yeah it's the, the whole, whole package yeah it's exactly it's like what i did not want <laughs> what i did not want to like about it i love about it you know what yeah. i mean you, so i i yeah. yeah it's it's still it's still like honestly it's a battle it's yeah like honestly i love <laughs> like, k-pop but it's like it's a battle it's like uh, should i love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> should i love it this much but i do <laughs> but you do that's the thing but I, um, do. I find it really interesting that you mentioned like ariana grande right because like yeah i don't think the argument that ariana grande's voice is better than most of you yes. know what i mean like if not all, i agree like of, i agree of the idols 100 percent. Right? but like i don't care about her as much <laughs> it's weird exactly <laughs> because they don't build a persona around her yeah that makes you want to care about her yeah they're so guarded with the K-pop. Like, the, the image is everything for, for the Koreans, right? Like, yeah, so, yeah. like, even the personal life and stuff. That, that, that's where it gets, like, a little scary for yeah. me. And it's like, should I that's like true. this? Because it's so, ah, it's so scary, you know? Yeah. In, in my, in my uh, moral, I guess, my moral code, mm. it's, like, a little bit sketchy, in mm. a sense. It's like you're, 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 you're manufacturing these people to have this image like that can't be good for their mental health right. you know what i mean yeah um and i know a lot of korean people uh are uh, uh, kate like idols and stuff like have opened up about the the abuse and all that stuff yeah. and the, the dark side of the k-pop industry so i know that that's a real thing yeah um but at the same time i'm a consumer <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time I care. And the only reason I care about hearing that stuff is because they marketed it so well for they me to actually so want well. to care. Right? They did it <laughs> so, so well. So, yeah. So, And then when did I, you yeah, start, that, like, playing on top of it? Uh, yeah, like, it, it, it just came natural because I think before I did the K-drama thing, I, I was, uh, sorry, not K-drama. Before I started, like, doing K-pop covers yeah, on yeah, my yeah. Instagram, I was doing a bunch of, I was toying around with, um, like short music stuff. Mm. Um, yeah, it was it was the the height of quarantine. Like people yeah. had a lot, I had a lot of free time. I I needed a creative outlet because I was getting burnt out at work. Yeah. yeah. So I started. Um, I think the first ever music thing I did was like um, this this guitarist named um, Mark Letieri. He's the mm. guitarist for. Um, a lot of bands, but um, I think he's mostly famous for um, Snarky Puppy. Oh, Snarky Puppy. Okay. So yeah, so he uh, he comes out with like short Instagram Instagram like videos, like jam with mm. I, I forgot what it's called, Strat Strat Stomp or something like that. Okay. okay so right. he came out with the riff, and I was like, I like this riff. Like I want to play to it. So yeah. I, I I did like a short video of me playing a riff to it, and I didn't have any equipment. I just used my phone camera like with my bass amp. Right. Right. And then and then. I was like, okay, like this is cool, but like I want to make it like a little bit more, um, like fun, I guess. Mm. Like, so I I put like a like an image of a scared a scared cat like creeping up to it. you know. It's just like <laughs> uh, like I like I I I liked playing it and I enjoyed I enjoyed uh like making making the video like of me yeah. playing about it, but like um it's not like that visually appealing. <laughs> yeah, 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 there's not there's no visuals that like, really grab you like um. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not, like, an amazing bassist. Like, I don't think that mm. I'm, like, a good bassist. So, like, for me, it's, like, I just enjoy playing bass, and I'll make it fun to watch, too, I guess. Yeah. So that was, like, my first video I put I put out. And then I was, like, okay, I can kind of get uh, the hang of this, like, editing, yeah. uh, you know, playing bass. And so the next one I did was, like, a short, like, 15-second thing of Justin Bieber's, um, what song is that? When in and around me. Then like, mm-hmm. even though you've been mm-hmm. with me. Okay, that's that, all. Yeah, that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. what it's called. Because, like, that album, I think, just came out, like, that year. So, like, I was super into it. And so I did, like, the different instruments mm. of it and all that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I started doing that kind of stuff before the whole K-pop thing. Right. Um, and then I was, like, sniping, like, my friends that are artists. Yeah. Like, on Instagram, like, looking for, like, okay, what did they, what did they come out with? Like, maybe I can, like, <laughs> put something over it. So I did, I did oh, one with Elise. Yeah, Like, yeah, Elise yeah. did, like, things, like, oh, maybe I can add something to it. So right. I did that with Elise. I did one with Keiko. Like, Keiko came out with something. I was like, oh, I'm going to try. I'll, I'll just add something. Right. And right. I, I, I super enjoyed it. And so when, so it only came natural, like, when I started getting into K-pop, I was like, I want to do a K-pop thing because mm. one, like the song, like it, it, it bops, you know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. it bops. Yeah. The, the, the song bops. 
and people are into it and I'm into it. I enjoy it. So it just came natural for me to try to do something um, fun with it. So I think the first one I did was like, like I, I tried to dance like the uh, Love Sick Girls. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was like the, that was the only, that was the only video that I ended up doing like a full song. Cause like most of my covers are just like portions. Yeah. That one I tried to do a whole song and I tried to dance with it. It was the most tiring thing. Oh, I bet. I bet. Like, because like, it's you know like what you see on Instagram. It's not like one take, dude. It's like thousands of not 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 thousands, <laughs> but like it's it's it's, it's a, a lot, lot of takes. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of takes. It's a lot of trial and error and all that stuff. Right. So, like that was the that was the first full song I think I did, and then like the last, I was like, I'm not doing this again oh, <laughs> like, no. because I tried yeah, to yeah. dance with it too. So That's- I was like heaving like afterwards. Like I was like, <sighs> like I lost my breath, and and but that also like made me respect them more. I was like, wow, these girls they do this like every every night, like <laughs> like they're yeah. doing dancing the choreo and singing, like so much respect. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was um it was like a few I think a week ago. Oh, no, like a few weeks ago or like a month ago maybe. Mm-hmm. Um. So like my my friends had like this really small gathering because like they got married, uh, okay. so they got so they invited like maybe like the super close friends into like this garden area. It was nice. Anyway, so um we, they were playing um do 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 right, and so me right, okay. and like a few other friends, like three other friends. We we were four. Like we knew that we knew that dance. We we watched the videos. You know, you, what I mean? you, you need the choreo. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, knew yeah, what I to do. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then, and then we were just because like it, it's been like a few months of like us just playing around. Like we'll just go like that, right? And all that stuff. But like when we were there, we were like, oh wait, hey, like we can actually dance this, right? And then what? I think like halfway through, I was like, <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's I was, like, work. I was just like, it's oh, working. this is crazy. This is crazy. And then, <laughs> um, so, and then in the night, like, there was a bit of more, like, a bit more dancing and everything, right? So, like, me, my friend, because this was, this was in Tagaytay, like, a garden in Tagaytay. So, I was driving some, me and my friends back home, some of my friends. Mm-hmm. And my friend was like, so this was what Blackpink feels like? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yeah, it's so tiring. Yeah. <laughs> That's except what that, my girls except, have to go through, you know, all this. Except tomorrow <laughs> they have to do it again. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. It's so funny. Any last words um on the K-pop scene? Uh yeah, so Blackpink was the gateway for sure. Like they're the ones that introduced me, but I am not uh a blink. Okay. As uh, most people would say. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, I do I I I I'm 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 a Blake. Never mind. I, I take that back. I'm a Blake. <laughs> but uh, my current obsession is definitely once. I right, sorry, oh, twice. Uh, twice. I'm twice. once. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my once. bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So twice is definitely the the one that uh, yeah, that got me. Sheesh. Which is uh, hilarious because I they're they're exact everything that I thought I would not like about K-pop. Yeah, and there's so many. There's it's so like- many. I was like, I remember when my okay, so my cousin was like, oh, Kuya Justin, like. You're you're in the wrong K-pop fandom. Like mm. like when he saw me post Blackpink stuff, and he and he's like, oh, you should try Twice. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, there's like nine of them. I was like, oh, that's so much. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least, and they don't speak English. I was like, oh my gosh, that's <laughs> that sounds so like how how am I gonna like them? Like, yeah, how yeah. am I gonna get in? Man, like I don't know. They, their content is just it's top notch, man. It, I don't know. It's they crazy. they got me. They got me. I I have like them on the back of my phone and everything dude it, I'm, I'm at that level i'm at that level with with twice like i i'm i'm up to date with their uh youtube show and everything like thanks for listening to check out more episodes go check us out on spotify or apple podcasts and for clips and full episodes you can check out our videos on youtube again thank you so much for listening i'll see you next time